Hello, I'm Dr. Tim McAlinden, and we're here to talk about the results of a clinical trial we performed testing um, triamcinolone, which is a corticosteroid, injected into the knee joints of people with osteoarthritis, uh, testing it as a long-term treatment um, for pain and, importantly, structural progression in that disease. Osteoarthritis is the commonest form of uh, arthritis, uh, and it's a major cause of pain and disability in the population, uh, yet there is no treatment currently accepted to influence its long-term effects and particularly the structural progression. For this study, we recruited people who had knee osteoarthritis and also some evidence of inflammation in their knees based on an ultrasound scan. Um, we actually enrolled 140 patients and we randomized them to receive either triamcinolone injected directly into their knees, or uh, saline. And this was performed every three months for a duration of two years. Uh, we measured pain at each visit, and also objectively physical function. And importantly, uh, we performed MRI scans to uh, evaluate and measure um, cartilage and other structural change within the joint. While both groups exhibited some improvement in pain, we found no difference uh, between the two groups over the long term. Physical function didn't change much, and with regard to MRI, although we found no major differences in the appearances between the groups uh, on the scans, when we measured uh, cartilage volume, we found more cartilage loss in the group that had been assigned to triamcin alone. I'd hoped that we might find some benefit from uh, the triamcin alone because it suppresses inflammation, and we know that there is inflammation in knee joints. Uh, so it was slightly surprising to find no effect. Corticosteroids injected into a joint are widely used in clinical practice for short-term relief of flare-ups of arthritis pain. Uh, but this study indicates that if they're given repeatedly over a long time frame, that uh, there is an increased rate of cartilage loss. Now, we know that uh, greater rates of cartilage loss predict subsequent risk for having a knee replacement. So obviously, this uh, would generate some concern um, if the uh, injections were performed um, on numerous occasions within one patient. I think one of the main concerns for me is that we measured only long-term pain, and we didn't capture pain in the short period after each injection, in other words, in the two to four week time frame. And I think we probably missed the short term benefit that is seen in clinical practice. So that's one thing. The, the other is that um, we selected individuals who had some evidence of inflammation based on an ultrasound scan. And there's a theoretical possibility that ultrasound may lack some specificity in detecting inflammation. This study um, does not support the use of repeated corticosteroid injections such as triamcinolone or others probably in the long-term management of osteoarthritis and showed no benefit for structural progression. In fact, we found an increased rate of cartilage loss in the group that received the active treatment, which obviously is a concern.